Hello everyone, welcome to Mini Orange. In this demo we are going to show you, how to set up single sign-on for your application with Magento as an API authentication source, using Mini Orange. Mini Orange lets Magento act as an IDP which allows users to achieve single sign-on into multiple applications and external websites, users will authenticate themselves via their Magento credentials only once and they can access all the external applications. Login as administrator in Magento. Go to the system on the left panel and click on integration. Now click on add new integration button and fill in all the required information. Click on the API tab and make the resource access to all. Click on the Save button. Now you can see the integration is added successfully. In front of your integration click on Activate Link. Click on Allow button, and you will get the integration tokens here, copy the access token you will need later. Click on Done. Now, we will set up Magento as authentication source in Mini Orange. Log in to your Mini Orange admin account. Click on User Store section. Click on the Add User Store button. Select User Store Type as API. Enter Magento Site Base URL, an access token which you have copied. Now enable the End User option, and click on the Save button. Your Identity Source configuration have been saved. Click on Test Authorization API option. Enter your Magento site credentials and click on Test. On successful connection with API server, a success message is shown. Click on the Make Default option, to make Magento as default authentication source. Now, we will configure external application in Mini Orange. We are using WordPress in this video as our external application. Go to Apps section. Click on the Add Application button. Now choose Application Type as SAML and click on Create App button. Search for WordPress SAML application and click on it. For the SP Entity ID and ACS URL, go to WordPress SAML plugin, and click on Service Provider Metadata. Now you can see the SP Entity ID and ACS URL, copy it and paste the URLs in the appropriate field. Now go to the Attribute Mapping section, and here you can add user profile attributes. Go to the Policy section, here you can edit the default or existing policy of your application. Go to Advanced section and click on Save button. You can see your application is added successfully. Against your application, click on Metadata link. Go to the External IDP Metadata and click on Metadata URL button, Copy the metadata URL, this will be needed further. Now go to WordPress SAML plugin, and click on Service Provider Setup tab. Click on Upload Metadata button. Add a IDP name and paste the metadata URL. Click on Fetch Metadata button, after that click on the Save button to save your configuration. Click on Test Configuration button to verify if you have configured correctly. Enter your Magento credentials and click on Sign In. You can see the attributes. Add the SAML SSO widget from the Widgets section to show the login link on your WordPress application. Go to your site URL on private window and you will be able to see the login with Magento SSO demo button, click on it. Enter your Magento credentials and click on sign in. You have successfully logged in. Thank you for watching this video. For any other questions drop us a query on info at securify.com.